So we're here today to talk about a magical moment in our Sea of Thieves development, crossplay. Yeah, indeed. Because little does the community know that we have been jumping in on Wednesdays. We kind of have to we, them before, We've yeah. dropped a little hint. Yeah. <laughs> Many of us, actually, I think 30 of us jumped in yeah. the week before last, all on PC, yep. into the Xbox One Wednesday playtest, and no one, no one noticed any difference. Yeah, and I think that's what's so magical yeah. about the experience, <laughs> yeah. right, Dad, um, is that, like, <laughs> Just playing the game, like just being able to just jump in on my on my laptop, sitting there with my mouse and keyboard controls, yeah. kind of like trying to figure out what they were and stuff. And um, <laughs> yeah. players I were playing with were going, "Do you need any help? Like, do you want me to do you want me to support you play?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's need like, do you, help. Do "Yeah, you look like you're struggling a bit." I'm like, uh, "Yeah." Um, but it's just so powerful. I think yeah. like the the opportunity we have um, for for Sea of Thieves and you know on on kind of both platforms and to bring all those players together, yeah. I think. I think it's huge. Yeah. Sea of Thieves has always been a game for a really broad range of players, yeah. right? Um, and I think it's equally suited to players on console as it is to kind of players on PC, yeah. right? That's the style of game it is. Like. A lot of people have said this game feels like a PC game. It's yeah. not to say it doesn't feel like a console game. Yeah. It's just I think building this with the community and in, in a very much a, a relationship with them. Yeah, absolutely. That and, it's that community, yeah. right? That's that's already exists around Sea of Thieves. And they're right? so like, passionate. Yep. Like it's, there's not a day that goes by where I don't jump into the community. And, yep. And that group of players that we have there are all incredibly passionate about their platform. Yep. And that for them, this is the game that they want to play with their friends, not just on the same platform as them, but on other platforms. Yep. And they haven't always been able to do that. So now it's like their opportunity to be able to play with their friend who's got a different device. Yeah. We've got players in our community that are really good friends via yeah. the community, but now they're going to get to play together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like That's super cool, it's even really in that cool. small yeah. kind of microcosm of our community. Yeah. And I think our Insider program shares a lot of similarities with the way you know, a bunch of PC games are developed with kind of early access, yeah. right? Getting people involved early, getting their feedback, getting the game into players' hands early, yeah. and and growing and building it with everyone and because it's a shared world game because it's multiplayer and you're so dependent on how players play and what they do with the features you give them and yeah. being able to react to feedback and also listening to what they want next and what they think is important and like how to improve the experience i think taking a lot of those kind of goals of an early access title and bringing them to our insider program yeah. was very much our thinking right and um, it's important as well that you know we've built these compatibility testing labs internally we've got the broadcast labs as well like we're really trying to make sure that on a day-to-day -day basis we're always testing crossplay our goal throughout development has been that early in early 2018 we deliver the game that PC players expect yep yeah. and all of these learnings that we're getting now all of the adjustments to our roadmap it's all so that we can deliver on that promise yeah and we know PC players have really really high expectations so as we move towards early 2018 we might find there are specific options or settings that players really really want and one of my favorites actually is the shanty volume slider which has made me smile I know it's not PC specific yeah. but uh, I also like the idea of a fish slider in the future, you know, things that we can actually have some fun with. I guess a bit like, uh, I don't know if we want to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it anyway, which is that our, we don't have min, low, medium, high, ultra. Yeah. We have cursed, common, rare, mythical, legendary. Yeah. Um, because it felt more fitting to say Oh, it absolutely, is. yeah. So basically like the minimum slider <laughs> yeah, is cursed. It's cursed. Yeah. Love it, yeah. yeah. All the way Bang through on. to yeah. mythical yeah, and legendary, so. That felt good. Yeah. That in. yeah, it just feels right, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. One of the comments we get a lot on the forums is why is Sea of Thieves not a port? And I know that when we started on, on the PC side, um, it was very much, we went over like, what defines a port? And I think one of the things that was really key with that was that PC games have a tendency to come out after their console counterparts, but we've put a line in the sand and said it will be day and date. Well, it's basically, it's, it's built from the same code yeah. base, right? And our system of getting the game um, releasable weekly, yeah. like it's been really important to us that we yeah. can do both platforms yeah. and we can, you know, we get to that kind of lockstep sort yeah, of situation yeah, totally. as soon as possible, right? Um, I guess that's what makes going to Gamescom and showing crossplay like on the show floor yeah. with you know monster PCs and, and Xboxes. It gives us that confidence that every single day we're doing this and we have been for months yeah. and it, and we've built that confidence up over time. Yeah. It's funny like for all of the events we go to and everything else, usually the thing you worry about most is the build and yeah. the build stability and we're gonna have both platforms, we're gonna have all this stuff. All that stuff just kind of like takes care of itself. Yeah, um, yeah, totally. Like obviously it doesn't but the fact that we're doing builds every day and releasing we Weekly on both platforms and stuff it gives us that confidence, yeah. right? That um, and we know that the you know the code base is the same, the build's the same, yeah. and it's like the PC's got its custom work done yeah. around settings or around yeah. controls or yeah. around whatever. And I guess so. last year we actually went to Gamescom with the same build that we took to E3, but mm -hmm. this year yep. we're we're, in, we're now in the position where we can actually just take the most recent build and yep. it will literally be hot off the press. Yeah, people will be playing it at home as well yep. in the technical alpha at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like we've just been building this confidence. Yeah, it's super cool to be bringing that you know bringing a, a different experience to Gamescom, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, like. 
like we've been making, features. yeah, yeah, like the different teams across game experience and um, quests and AI and everyone, they've all been doing their work, yeah. like, you know, and improving the experience, right? There's improvements to AI in there in terms of their skeletons. There'll be improvements to the game experience, some of the kind of the combat yeah. and everything, all of that stuff yeah. that we've been doing and looking at. I think what'll be really cool as well is, is actually if we get the opportunity that someone who went to E3 also gets the chance to play at Gamescom yeah. and they come away with, oh, I've got different stories. Yeah. Like yeah, even yeah, in yeah. that short period of time, yeah. they can see that the features that we've added all add to this kind of eclectic mix Indeed. of stories yeah. um, and ingredients. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's just a really strong position to be in. Yeah. I'm definitely using eclectic again. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you just saw, then please like and subscribe to our channel and check out some more of our weekly videos. And if you're interested in the game's development, then click the link down here and join our Insider program for a chance to play the game early. Don't worry, I'll, I'll just wait here. <laughs>